I'm Will Corwin. I'm here with Tim Kent, the painter, uh, and we're talking about his exhibition Between the Lines. A lot of the paintings present this kind of architectural context, but it's not necessarily an architecture that works. You know, one of the things that happens when making paintings, um, for me, is that I can put all the information in, but most of the time it, it works when it's kind of on this edge of not working. So when I can kind of get the, when the architecture begins to dissolve, that's usually where I want my paintings to kind of sit. One of the things that I, what I do with the, the works, and I have done the last couple of years, is I, I imagine these rooms leading into rooms. It's a cool way to think about what happens in the next room. So putting an enfilade into a painting to me always says, well, next chapter. The use of figure in your painting is very narrative, right? What is the narrative that you're trying to tell? One of the things I love about painting is the way in which it reveals itself. If it's done, it reveals itself over time nicely, right? I do think that the the vagary of the painting allows that narrative to happen. You know, it's kind of like an, it's almost like an impressionist of painting or you know, abstract painting where you where, where you can make up the, what's happening in the painting. You imagine it's this, you imagine it's that, and I I just want to give that amount of vagary in the painting. I want to try and do as much of a setup as possible for someone to to kind of get lost in it. I think the figure is kind of flickering in and out, the perspective coming in and out by looking at the figures kind of melting away. You begin to actually question what this idea of plot is. I do, th you know, there's a couple of pieces in the show that I do think are very, very uh, descriptive of that uncertainty. One is this painting, Elpis, which has this, this rosy, almost, I don't know, Parisian grand bathroom thing, and there's this character in it, and it's falling. I, I hope people just get involved in them. I think, I hope that when they look at them, they, they don't find them selves to be threatened by the works, they don't find themselves to be alienated by the works, but that the works invite them into a place that they can begin to have their own little narrative story. Because I know, I know what my narrative is with it.